entertainmentbuddha.com Everyone, Matt Haywood here from entertainmentbuddha.com and Instagram.com slash at Haywood Pop, however you want to say it. How's it going? Hopefully it's going funky. Today we're checking out another SH figure art gem, and that is the Padme Amidala from Episode 2. As you can see here again, it's figure art, so the sculpt is to die for. Look at that face. That is so Natalie Portman. They nailed it. Sculpt and paint job. And really the rest of the body is pretty spot on. Um, as far as details go. Now, because she's wearing a revealing outfit after being slashed by that cat-like thing in the Geonosian arena, you can see uh, her elbow joints do look a little wonky, as you can see. Uh, but overall, she has some good POA, great uh, posing abilities here. Uh, arms, you got to work with a bit to get them up around their head. You almost have to kind of rotate the shoulder out of the socket, but they'll get up there. Uh, torso rotates very well so great posing with this figure for toy photography if that's what you choose to use it for or if you just want to display it oops leg joint little loose I found out and that, that's only because I've tried to put it into uh, some extreme poses but it did slide out uh, it goes back in quite nicely though as you can see the other POAs provide great articulation as well knees bend uh, front toes bend hand Head really moves around quite well, so um, she's a great little figure, you know, um, looks fantastic. I mean, that, that's really the key with these figure arts is the dedication, the detail to faithfully recreate the character in plastic form. So in addition to the standard figure, you also get a different head. I guess that's a more concerning looking Padme. Uh, nothing different with the hair. I would have liked it if they almost gave you a different torso to where she was wearing her cloak before this outfit got ripped up, but alas, you only get a head, the gun, which separates to allow you to put her um, trigger hand in it much easier. It does kind of pop out. It's a little tricky, so you got to watch out for that piece because it is highly losable. And then she got um, a couple sets of hands. So she has open hands and then obviously hands for gripping the... Uh, blaster rifle from the battle droids so nothing to complain about here people fantastic figure if you don't have it yet and you've been looking for a padme to add to your 112 scale collection this is the one to get because she looks great some of the skin tone paint is a little yellow but not enough that it throws anything off so highly recommend this one thanks for watching matt haywood here signing off for entertainmentboo.com where we make you a better geek one post at a time so stay tuned don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Haywood Pop to see toy photography of Miss Amanda. Oh,